and welcome back to Fashion Attack. On this channel, we normally do super incredible and complicated pieces, explained in a very simple way, but we do couches, tables, closets, very big home design. So I decided to add smaller things because that's what you guys asked for. And I'm gonna create a column called Fast Fashion Attack. In today's video, I'm gonna try to recreate some super, 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 super viral TikTok videos that were like everywhere. Let's start. So, first piece is gonna be an amazing tiny IKEA hack. Here, we start with this table. This idea comes from Easy Interior. She has an incredible account. She always does super, super, super cool things, but very simple, so anybody can do them. Basically, all we need to transform this table is some tiny dowels. You're gonna need a lot of them, a glue gun, and some spray. We're gonna start by cutting these dowels on different heights so to create a different kind of textures on the leg of the table itself you can use a hand saw or a jigsaw if you have that just start cutting them every time five centimeters shorter and then be sure to sand the edges of it I'm gonna now go and start placing them starting from the bigger one on the side of the leg and then slowly adding them smaller and smaller so to create some sort of Tri double triangular shape I do not know the name of this shape but anyway you can see it appearing in front of your eyes it's super simple you just stick one after the other and you go all around your table now that we created this super cool geometric shape on our legs it's time to make a second shelf for our table and we're gonna do it using the same cardboard in which our table came into so do not throw it away and simply place the top of it on top of the cardboard so you can use it as a shape and cut the perfect sizing of it I'm gonna use now some uh, contact paper of the color that you prefer I use marble and you can use any color you can make it in wood you can make it black you can make it gold actually black would just simply match the top so you don't even have to paint the top anymore anyway once you stick that on just cut away the edges and start cutting little little cuts on the sides of your circle so that it's easier to place it around your bottom shelf you're gonna see later when I attach it then we do the exactly the same things also on the top shelving that we already had the metallic one we make some little cuts and then we pull it so to wrap it very tight around the shape of our top shelf and it's gonna appear to be perfectly marbled guys the coolest thing about doing DIYs is that you do not have to follow tutorial as it is you can totally customize it to what makes you feel more comfortable Easy interiors always has such a gold and very fancy vibe to all the objects that she makes and that does not really match my aesthetic I'm a bit more rough so I thought that the marble look would be cool but to have the entire table in gold was too much and that's why I made it in black and I think it looks awesome I applied the top and it looks incredible I'm totally in love with the result and I'm so happy I remade this one we're gonna do something that went so viral that I actually don't even know who's the first person who started it so I decided just to link the person that had the most views possible on TikTok and that is Juniper Point Design & Co I don't know how to pronounce it but you can see it here and I'm gonna link it down below guys this has been everywhere. It's basically two hula hoops that create like shelving. You can hang it on your wall or you can put it on top of something and it turns out amazing and incredibly cheap. First step, take out your two hula hoops and try to figure out if you still got it inside of you and you can do some of your tricks. I totally forgot how to do it on my hips, but it kind of worked on my neck. Yeah, yes. till I hit my finger and broke my nail. Okay, let's get serious. Just place your two hula hoops on something that is not going to damage your floor. I just use this old piece of wood and then start spraying all over them. Once you have the, both the two hula hoops, start marking the place where you want to cut your wood. So, the original one had the wood finishing exactly at the end of the circles, but I decided that I wanted it to go a little bit more far out. So, you saw that my design was more far out and it cut them two identical of each size. Don't forget to sand them off and after that, you just use... A little trick and you're gonna go and spray eight little screws this way the head of them is gonna disappear inside the hula hoop now place them as distant as you want them one from each other place the second hula hoop on top try to make them straight and make the first hole that goes through the hula hoop all the way through the wood screw it inside and now make it on the opposite direction once you have the first one inserted you're gonna want to figure out if you have it straight so basically just put the hula hoop up Place this straightening thingy that I never know how it's called, but with a bubble, you can guide yourself to know if you're going straight or not. And finally, place the other hula hoop on the other side. Go and make your hole on the opposite direction, both on the two edges on the bottom, and just screw it inside. Do the same thing for the top ones, and you're basically done. 
Guys, you can color this in other colors. You can make it marble, you can leave it in wood, you can stain it darker, but I totally love the result. You can simply place it on top of your shelving or directly screw it on your wall and have it as a hanging shelf. That's awesome. Bases are such a cool decorative piece in your apartment. They can really bring up the vibe and make it more glamorous or more urban according to the design that you do. This idea came from Liv Coat. I don't know if I pronounced the name right, but her piece was very beautiful, but white and very simple. So I decided to take this idea and make it way more special. All you need to start this tutorial is an old vase. It doesn't even have to be this shape actually. So the original piece had little beams stuck to the vase itself, but I thought why spending money buying beams if you can just simply do the shape with the glue gun itself. So I very delicately placed the glue on top of the vase and let it dry in the right position so that the shape would stay as roundy as possible. And after I did it all around, alternatively all around the vase, I had exactly the shape that I wanted. At this point, the face was practically done, but I wanted you guys to vote and I posted on Instagram like, should I make it marble and black and gold? Should we make it very colorful? And I follow exactly what you guys tell me to do. What I'm gonna show you now is a super duper cool technique to basically marble any tiny object. Instead of doing it with a feather and having to be very delicate and accurate in the process, you just can get a bowl of water and literally start spraying in the water, alternatively, the colors that you want it to marble in. So if you simply want it black and white, you do black, white, black, white. In this case, we wanted it colorful, so I picked blue, pink, and gold. And then you just put your pot slowly inside while you twist it on itself and take it out straight from the water. And yeah. At least once per every episode my camera has to fall on the floor yeah. <laughs> let's try this again without having the camera on the floor and you can see I did it layering several times on the same pot every time you need to let it dry and then you put it delicately inside the water twisting it on itself and the design is coming every time more amazing I did another spring with a bit more gold and the result started to look even more incredible and guys this is how it turned out. I think it's so funky and so cool. I feel like Pinterest is changing the aesthetic of everybody's apartment right now and it's making everything so much more colorful and playful, all with roundy curves. And this mirror is literally the proof of it. DIY Baby Girl made this mirror on TikTok and it had like thousands of views. I decided to remake it, but way more colorful and mixing all the pieces up. Take out any shape of mirror that you prefer and at this point you're gonna need to buy some clay. This is a clay that becomes harder once you put it in the oven so it's very important that you buy the right one otherwise it's not gonna become solid and I decided to mix two colors together. Here you see me opening even the green one and now you show you one next to the other and I'm gonna melt them together. First attempt was simply to press it on the table and start to making this little warm but it didn't work at all so yeah to work this clay you first have to warm it up in your hands and this is what i did immediately after so play with it a little bit so that it becomes a little bit warmer and at that point it's going to become solid and it's not going to create all the ugly little cracks that i was making in my first attempt at this point you make a very tiny and slim worm or the size that you prefer it to make and you make it very long because it has to go all around wiggly around your mirror once I made one that was long enough I started to work also with the second one that is the green one same exact step also here it's important to warm up the clay otherwise it's gonna become all rough and make a lot of cracks that are super difficult to correct afterwards and then you make your super long warm also with the green one we have to start wrapping the two colors one on each other you simply use one edge and start rolling it so that slowly it wraps all the way to the top they become super tight and that's super pretty and it helps us once you squash it also on the surface of the table the color mixed together and it looks amazing putting the mirror directly in the oven is very 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 not an option so what we're gonna do is trace it on a piece of paper just to get the right shape that we want to make on the mirror and then we're gonna place it directly in the oven without the mirror and even without the paper we don't want to burn that 
So we're creating now the wiggly shape that we want around the mirror. And once we chose it exactly as we wanted, we're gonna insert it in our oven for 30 minutes at 130, 120 degrees. It's important to know that it's better to cook it a bit longer at a lower temperature than the other way around, otherwise it's gonna crack. Once it's ready, you can take it out of your oven and as you see, it's still kind of soft, but that's just because it's hot. While it cools down, it becomes very, very, very sturdy. Now it's time to glue it on our glue. You can use E6000, you can use your hot glue gun, whatever makes you feel more confident. And your mirror, guys, is basically done. Do it under the edges so that we do not see the marks of the glue. Do it as carefully as possible. And let's see the result. This coffee table or bedside table, you can decide how to use it. It's crazy cheap. Like you literally need a few bowls. You can get them from Ikea. You can get them from the Dollar Tree. You can get them at your tutto mille lire if you live in Italy. Basically anywhere that you can find cheap bowls. And you can customize it exactly how you want. To make it the height of a normal coffee table or a bedside table, you're gonna need four salad bowls. They have to be all of the same size or at least share the same size of the base. Otherwise, they're not gonna connect nicely. You go with your hot glue gun and place the first one upside down so that you can do it on the bottom of your bowl and then place the second one on top. Now instead, you're gonna connect the two tops of the third and the second bowls and identically in the same way also with the fourth one. Guys, the hot glue gun is gonna leave some little ugly marks on the outside, so I'm gonna suggest you a little trick to make it super smooth that you cannot see it. First, you have to wait for it to dry. Yes, a few seconds. And just a minute later, you can go in with your hot glue gun on the outside of your bowl, then use a little piece of cardboard or anything that is flat and smooth enough to pass it on top and make it flat. This is gonna change completely the final aesthetic of your bowls and you're not gonna see the two connections and make it look all like one table. Take out your spray and finally go and cover it in the color that you like the most. I'm gonna make mine in two colors. I'm planning to make all the bottom in a satin black and only the top in gold. So you go and spray all the full part of the bottom and then we're gonna go and test it on the plate. Yeah. So oh, fancy. So now gold comes in so many different kinds and they usually don't look so nice. So I decided first to test it. Sprayed the first spray glue, not spray glue, spray color. And the first one looked actually kind of decent. The second brand that I bought was, uh, I don't know how to define this color. It almost looked like wood. It was kind of disgusting. So I just went with the first one. I sprayed all the top of the plate, let it dry for a while. And then when it was completely dry, Flip it around and we're gonna do also the bottom. It's important because from different angles of the table, you are gonna see the bottom of it, so we need to paint it. Now, this result came amazing and the surface of it, it's so cool. I have to be honest and I just forgot it outside in the rain and that's why I got this weird texture on the top and I love it. fun at least as much as I did filming this very different video for me and let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it if you want me to add very simple DIYs idea or if you prefer me to do only the very mission impossible <laughs> tutorials that I usually make don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet and see you next Monday